Hey everyone, we got a fantastic tutorial for you today, but before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick note. We would love to hear your submissions on what you would like to learn in 2019. So if there's anything you'd like to learn from us, just give us a little comment right down below and we'll make videos based on your request. All right, let's get into our tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to dodge and burn a landscape in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to dodge and burn a landscape. It's actually super fun, pretty easy to do. So to start off, dodging and burning is basically making one part of your image lighter and another part of your image darker. And we do this to give more shape and definition to our photos. And with landscapes, that can be super important because you can make objects look a little bit more three-dimensional and just bring general interest into the photo. And in this video, we're gonna show you a dodging and burning technique that I love because it makes dodging and burning so much easier. You don't have to be super precise about where you dodge and burn. A lot of the work is done for you with these tools that we're gonna show you right now. So here in Photoshop, we've got our sample image. You can actually download this on flurn.com so you can follow along with this tutorial. Just click on the link right down below. So let's start by hitting F for full screen and kind of talk about what we were gonna do to this photograph. A little bit of like an outline for our dodging and burning. So we got a really cool image here. Uh, I super love this like cave landscape. I think we could add a little bit more dimension to make it a little bit more interesting. So we have light areas and I'm just gonna use this like little pink color here to kind of circle around like our lighter areas. And what I mean is like in dimension, you know, like if the light source is kind of coming from this direction, you know, these areas here on the top are gonna to kind of catch that light source. There we go. And we can kind of enhance these to give them a little bit more dimension and all these stones as well. Okay. Now we're gonna grab a different color and kind of highlight where we're gonna be bringing in some dark information. So if I make some information, you know, kind of like right next to these light areas, if I make these areas just a little bit darker, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the lighter areas seem a little bit lighter in comparison and just give everything else more of a three-dimensional quality. So this is kind of what I think about when I'm thinking about dodging and burning. These green areas that I'm painting now, is what I'm gonna darken a little bit. And these pink or magenta areas is where we're going to lighten. So let's go ahead and start off with darkening or burning. We'll just go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to levels. Let's hit okay. Now I'm gonna take my midpoint slider here and we're just gonna start by pushing this to the right. And you're gonna see it's just gonna make my midtones a little bit darker. All right, adding a little bit more mood to the photo. Now. Turning this off and on, it's like, yes, it definitely did affect the midtones, but it's also kind of affecting my highlights. So what I wanna do is restrict this so it doesn't affect the highlights. This is the real kind of like meat of it. This is the important part. So what we're gonna do is double click right here on this gray area next to my levels adjustment. So let's just double click there, which brings up our layer style. There we go, now we can see everything. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, and right down here on the bottom where you see this underlying layer, we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click and drag from the right to the left, okay? So you gotta hold Alt or Option and click. If you don't do that, you're, you're not gonna separate these two things out and they're, it's not gonna look good. So Alt or Option, we're gonna click and drag from the right to the left, and you're gonna see how this effect is starting to disappear from my highlights, okay? It's only becoming visible in the shadow areas right now. All right, and that actually looks pretty good. You can always get back in here and change things around if you need to. So let's turn this back off and on, and you can see it really doesn't affect my highlights anymore. It's just kind of affecting my shadow areas. Well, this is perfect for our burning environment. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command I to invert that layer mask, and then just grab just a standard brush here, and we're gonna start painting it in where we want this darkening effect to happen. Now, again, the great thing about using this technique is that I'm not gonna be affecting my highlights here, okay? It's gonna leave my highlights alone. It's really just gonna affect a little bit of my midtones and the shadows. Just by doing this technique, it's already kind of like honing in exactly where is gonna be lighter and where is gonna be darker. 
So I'm gonna to continue to paint all the way up here where these little rocks are. And I don't have to be incredibly precise about where I'm painting because literally this is only gonna show up in the darker areas anyway. All right, so I'm just adding more definition. This is so much fun to do, by the way. I, I really love this technique. So let's turn this off and on and we can see we've added more dimension. It still looks totally realistic and we haven't affected our highlights at all. We can go ahead and do this same idea with our highlights. Let's grab a leather levels adjustment layer. We'll go to layer, new adjustment layer over to levels. Hit okay there. And we're gonna bring this just a bit brighter now. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna bring my whites a little bit up too. Looking good. And now you can see it's affecting everywhere, including my shadows. So you can see like here in the deep dark cave, it's making it brighter, which I don't wanna do. I just wanna make my highlights brighter. So we're gonna double click here again. There we are. And then hold Alt or Option. And this time we're gonna go from the other side. So Alt or Option, we're gonna click and drag from the left to the right. And look at this. Keep your eye right over here. You can see it's gonna just disappear from the darker areas, making it only visible in the light areas. Okay, just visible in the light areas. I'm gonna invert this layer mask by hitting Control or Command I. And then we're just gonna paint this white on these lighter areas. There we go. Now, obviously this video is all about landscapes. However, you can use this technique on portraits as well. You can use it on all kinds of different images. There we go. Because it's really just about restricting the light and dark information in your photograph and using that to create more dimension. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's just turn that off and on and we can see how that looks. I want these rocks on the bottom to be even brighter. So I'm gonna grab one more. Let's just go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, over to levels again, okay? We're just gonna brighten that up even more. Looking good. But again, don't want this to be visible everywhere. So we're gonna double click here, make this not visible on the dark areas. Invert my layer mask. And then I just want this to show up. See, just these rocks, I want them to be like nice and bright. Add all that contrast, maybe some up there too. I think we're looking pretty good. So let's just turn these layers off, all the way off. You can see the image as a whole is a little bit more flat. Turn them back on, and we have more three, more of a three-dimensional quality. You can see it looks like it's getting darker there, and then, you know, kind of like the curve around here, and then lighter, and then darker, and then lighter. Whereas before, it kind of has that same effect, but it's just a little bit more subtle and a little bit more flat. The after is definitely more well-defined. Now, keep in mind, these are just layers and layer masks, so you can turn them off and on at any time. If you decide they're too dark or too light, just double click here. Okay, this is just your levels adjustment, and you can change this. You know, you can make it, ooh, super even darker, or you can make it lighter. You can also do things like click on your layer mask and apply a blur. So let's try this. We'll go to filter, blur, over to Gaussian blur. And this is just gonna make the effect just a little bit more subtle. So here's with no blur. There we go. And then you can see as I add a blur, it's just gonna kind of soften it up. So from nothing, there we go, right to about there. Just kind of softens things up a little bit. So if you find you maybe you painted a little bit too much, like it's too well defined, this is a good way to kind of soften it up a little bit. There we go. So there's our before and after. I think we're looking great. Now, I wanna do a little something to this grass. I'm assuming it's grass or moss or some type of vegetation. I just wanna bring it back to life a little bit. We're gonna just grab an adjustment layer. Let's go to our hue saturation adjustment layer. Good deal. We're gonna go ahead and choose where it says master. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on our reds right now. We're gonna use this eyedropper tool to click on the actual color we wanna change. So eyedropper tool, boom. Now we're, let's bring up our saturation a little bit. We bring down our brightness and then my hue, I just need it to like, just like go a little bit more towards grass. Like not crazy, like I don't want it to be over here, but just a little bit more. There we go. Good deal. All right. Obviously you can kind of like get in there and, you know, fine tune how you, how you want, but I just wanted to, to get a little bit more towards like, hey, there's some photosynthesis going on. Alrighty. 
I think this is looking great. Now we're gonna use the same technique that we've used thus far with our uh, blend if to add this dodging and burning, uh, but we're gonna use it to add a little bit of color to the sky as well. So at the very end here, let's just go to layer down to new adjustment layer. We're gonna go to the levels. There we go. And then I'm gonna go to my blue channel, okay? And I wanna just put a little bit more blues into my highlights. So we're just gonna take this right side and we're gonna pull this from the right to the left. It's gonna pull some blues into the highlights. We're gonna counterbalance that with a little bit of green as well, okay? There we go. A little blues and some greens into the highlights of my image. And if I wanna restrict this even more to just the highlights, super easy to do. Double click right here. There we are. Let's hold Alt or Option and then click and drag from the left to the right, which is gonna make it disappear from the shadows. Okay, just visible in the highlights. It's gonna look like it's actually lighting the image itself as well. And I can kind of work with my opacity there. So a couple color layers just there at the end, just kind of brought this back to life. And then we have a couple layers of dodging and burning. This one I think we could make a little bit more pronounced. There we go. Very nice. And I wanna make this a little darker too. I just think this is like, it's like a cave image, right? So it's like, yeah, <laughs> let's make it moody, right? Let's, let's make it look like a cave. Like, ooh, I don't know that I wanna go in there. Yeah, I'm gonna moody it up even more. Maybe a little bit less up there cause it's like, you want it to kind of look like some fog is rolling in up there, you know? But down here, yeah, let's make it moody. Let's let's really dodge and burn this and have some fun with it. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it's a little bit of a Game of Thrones cave vibe to it, right? Can't you just imagine encountering a dragon in there? Ooh, no thank you. All right, look at that. That's that's a nice that's a nice one. Let's go ahead and group all these together. I'm just gonna, here's my little planning layer. See how we kind of followed the idea of making these areas darker, those areas brighter. Let's go ahead and group those together. There we go. I'm gonna hit F for full screen. Let's take a look at the before and the after here. Here's our before and the after. And that's all there is to dodging and burning landscapes in Photoshop. Just remember, you can use levels adjustment layers, make areas brighter and darker. The real key here is using those blend if sliders. So if you wanna affect your highlights, hold Alt or Option and click and drag from the left to the right. If you wanna affect your shadows, hold Alt or Option and click and drag from the right to the left. We used a hue saturation adjustment layer to target those reds and we shifted them over towards green, giving our image a little bit more life. And then we used a levels adjustment layer to add some blue and a little bit of green into the sky, making it look like we've got some color going on in the photo. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and click on that subscribe button on your screen. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. And if you wanna be notified, there's a little bell icon, bing, bing, bing. Just hit that and you'll get a little notification when we post our videos. Thanks again. I will flirt you later. Bye everyone. Thanks everyone. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. Stop. Bye everyone. Ugh. Thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your screen. Listen to free tutorials every single week. Couldn't be better than that. Literally, I can't think of anything better. So I'll just end the video right about now.